بكم في قصر بين نخيل بمراكش ويلكم على بالاس بين نخيل في مراكش بيانفني على بالي بين نخيل في مراكش ويلكم على بالاس بين نخيل في مراكش One thousand three hundred Moroccan workmen spent three years building this palace. The magnificent courtyard displays traditional art in all its splendor and refinement. Passing through lavishly ornamented archways, one enters the heart of the palace. Eight rooms and eight bathrooms take up an area of five thousand six hundred square meters. This palace is, uh, is a wonderful monument. It has been uh, built about 20 years ago uh, by uh, a man who was loving the Alhambra in, in Granada. He found the plans of the Alhambra in, uh, in London and they decided to build it in Marrakech. In the palace's two spaciously designed reception areas, details bear witness to the Moorish style of Islamic art. All rooms are accessed via a central corridor in the southern part of the palace, facing the sun's trajectory. Like the reception areas, the dining room also displays fine examples of Moroccan craftsmanship. Ceramics, embroidered fabrics, marble-plated fireplaces, wood carvings and decorations on walls and ceilings. The word Allah is found on every wall and on the ceilings, especially in the rooms. For example, there are frescoes measuring half a meter in which the word is displayed at least 12 times. These motifs were hand carved and set in plaster, not just painted on. If you remarquez sur l'autre côté, If you look across the other side, there's different leathering with the religious motto No one can defeat Allah the Mighty. There's on the wall, the ceilings, everywhere in the house and the rooms. The living rooms have a warm, nostalgic feel to them and are furnished accordingly with Moroccan copper lamps, mosaic tables, oriental carpets and Syrian chairs, as well as French furniture and Chinese chests and fabrics. At the end of the central corridor, an anteroom leads to two grand bedrooms with separate bathrooms. Both rooms are uniquely decorated with hand-carved wooden furniture, oriental solid wood drawers with hand-painted motifs, and every wall is a work of art. This traditional mosaic art is specifically Moroccan. It's made of squares measuring roughly 10 centimeters that are hand-cut and coated in colored enamel. showpiece of the palace is the Hammam, an Arabian steam bath, impressing visitors with its grand columns, marble swimming pool and the typical oriental wall decorations, evoking a sense of Arabian nights. A hammam is, a, is an Islamic tradition and uh, each house, his, each palace need to have a, a wonderful hammam because it's a place where you spend time every week, where you purify your mind and your, your body and uh, when you have some guests, you, are, you have pleasure to invite them to have a hammam in a very nice place.
palace bin and a keel means palace between the palms. The complex is in the middle of a garden measuring 45,000 square meters, surrounded by palm trees and olive trees. This green oasis is dotted with magnificent pavilions, elegant fountains and pools. For such a, a unique palace, you need a fantastic uh, garden. And uh, the owner uh, bought the most uh, impressive plants in all over the world, uh, lemon, uh, palm trees and olive trees in Italy and cactus in the States. On the west side of the palace, there's a large swimming pool and resting area, as well as two almost identical guest rooms. Why would uh, somebody want to buy the Joconde? Because Joconde is unique. As a painting of Leonardo da Vinci is, is unique in the world and this palace is unique too. It's impossible to do the same today and uh, for a piece of art, price is not important. <laughs> 